choice. Very much your choice. If it's found juice on the microphone, that's not good, is it? This whole thing's been shit. Hey guys, Vimpick here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this, the Tesla Invader 2 slash 3. Uh, what is it? It is a 2 or 3 battery mod. Uh, it's an unregulated variable voltage mod, a la Hexome, a la Raptor board based mods, or um, OKL based mods, or even those um, pulse width modulated uh, board, board boxes. Uh, so, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's of that variety where it, uh, it just pumps out the voltage based on what you turn your potentiometer to. Uh, it goes from 3 to 8.4 volts, and that's the same with uh, whether you have it in 3 or 2 battery configuration mode. Um, all you're getting with that extra battery is less sag when it takes on the load of the atomizer, and you're getting uh, increased battery life as a result of that extra battery as well. Um, so yeah, you literally swap out the doors. I've got it in currently in two mode. When we come back up top, I'll have it in three mode, and I'll show you them both when we go uh, down low. So it's uh, it's a big old powerhouse mod, uh, straight variable voltage, no regulation as such. It does have safety protection. It does have a light. It's a five clicks on, five clicks off type thing. Uh, you can go down to not point one uh, ohm. Uh, with this device. Let's go down though and you can have a good look and then when we come back up top I can just tell you straight how I feel about this device. See you in a sec. Alright guys here we are up close with the Tesla Invader 2 slash 3. This is the box, the packaging etc. Powerful and simplistic and I think that's a good description and it's got all the door stuff on there. You can see my colour is green, range of colours, authenticity, all that stuff on the box. Taking the lid off, we get a little bit of paperwork. I think it's really good that they put this in that tells, warns people about batteries, you know, because the, the, the battery knowledge isn't great on the ground these days with vaping. Uh, you get a spare doohickey for uh, pulling your batteries out. I think that's quite a nice touch as well, actually. Uh, so this is your mod. This is your mod. And uh, this is your spare door if you want to go down to two batteries. Hence the name, 2 slash 3. So, let's have a little look around it in 3 battery mode first. So, we've got our spring-loaded 510. Things are going down flush on here, no problem. Uh, even the recoil that has a semi-long pin. There are longer, but uh, this one goes down completely flush, no problem at all there. I think it looks quite natty as well. Um, but there we go. <clears throat> so we've got our invader, uh, 2 slash 3 fire button here, uh, we've got our pot, our potentiometer here, uh, it goes from 1 to 5, um, but we'll get into that a bit more when we go back up top about what that actually means. Uh, that is uh, your bat your light indicator, so when you're firing it, it lights up, when you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it turns off as well. Uh, you've got sort of like a carbon fibre thing here, Tesla SIGs written there, and uh, coming around all the way around to the back and we've got the same again on this side except it says invader 2 slash 3 uh, underneath we've got some interesting details as well we've got a minimum resistance 0.1 uh, it's got this thing about wattage uh, we'll talk about that up top we will talk about that up top don't worry um, but yeah it's uh, it's effectively pumping out if you turn it all the way to the top with fully charged batteries it's pumping out 8.4 volts down to 0.1 so there you go. Um, so that is that. So the door. Let's get into the, the door. The fire button, if you want to see that sort of clicking in action, sort of a big clicky press thing. Um, not to everyone's taste, this kind of fire button, but it's nice and big and it does a job. It's very iJoy, you know, iJoy style. So the door. Uh, to get the door off, the best way is to sort of thumb this bit here like that and to push like that. Unlike um, other ones, other other mods that do this two slash three thing, uh, it actually slides off there like that, and the battery stays within that. So if you want to do a really quick change uh, to the two, this depending on if I get this the right way around or not. Uh, if you want to do a really quick change, you can just leave that battery in there in a way, like that. 
so you can just instantly switch to two which is pretty good isn't it pretty good and then obviously it's a much smaller feel uh, but the battery life will not be as good and um, the way it performs which will again we'll talk about up top uh, but the way it performs with the load will be different as well now it's down into two batteries um, but let's go up top and uh, and and have a pr proper chat about this now okay guys that is the invader 2 slash 3 up close now got it in three battery mode it's a big old thing um, most similar to the RX 2 slash 3 I guess in terms of size and shape and things it's pretty much identical in size to that um, very much very very similar indeed in terms of size to that uh, and I guess that does bring about the elephant in the room uh, a lot of my friends a lot of other reviewers in their vlogs in their live shows in their quick looks and things I've sort of suggested you know what's the point of this what's the point why not just have uh, an RX 2 slash 3 you get a big board you've got regulation you've got variable wattage TC all that stuff for a very similar price point um, I get it I get it I get that mindset and if you're someone who loves a regulated vape then that's definitely definitely a good option uh, to, to look at those instead uh, but for someone like me who loves this kind of thing uh, I've got uh, I've got my fogging sailor my ideal I'm sure fogging sailor which is a potentiometer variable voltage affair I've got my mod maker uh, pulse width modulated uh, mod uh, which again is you know it's it's variable voltage with a pod you know I've got my hex ohm where are you I've got my hex ohm here again potentiometer variable vo variable voltage uh, no wattage regulation um, it's a thing it's a thing it's a type of vaping and if if you compare it to uh, an RX two slash three then you know it's lacking on paper in various aspects you know it doesn't have all those fancy electronic features but what it does have is just pure simplicity power fun you know so this will last a long time at a very strong power and uh, you can just enjoy it. you can just enjoy just hitting the fire button a, a superb desk vape you know I'm not looking at the screen I'm not adjusting things as soon as I've got it uh, adjust to taste uh, I, I'm, I'm away I am happy as you like um, if we compare it to if we compare it to a hexone which I think is a fair comparison because again this is an unregulated variable voltage mod uh, a very popular a very good one as well uh, if we compare it to this then it's got a lot going on for it it's uh, got uh, electronically turn it on and off it's got electronic safety in terms of battery rate, battery the right way around over vape protection uh, those sort of things uh, so yeah you can turn it off it's got your little light to help you with that um, it's got that extra battery option so you can put it in three mode it'll last way longer than a hexome uh, it goes down to 0.1 whereas uh, hexome you know shaky ground anything below 0.2 really um, so it's got a higher amp limit than than the hexome it, it's way 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 cheaper than a hexome obviously it's a very different kettle of fish but if you compare it to a hexome it's a total it's an option you know if you're a big fan of that style of mod so I do think it has a place I do really like it and I'm really enjoying it in terms of the power and how it's doing it and what it's doing if I get out my voltmeter unscrew that device and get out my voltmeter I might be able to give you a, a better indication of what's really going on here so I'll screw my voltmeter on it's just one of these uh, cheapy little voltmeters that just sits on top of your 510 and uh, if I get myself a little screwdriver flathead I can adjust the thing so if we go down to right down to one remember the batteries aren't fully charged here but if we go right down to one you can see it's got that three volt situation going on if we go up to two uh, we've now got three and a half roughly if we go up to three we've now got 4.2 ish and uh, I've been doing it but well if we go to four if we go to four where are we let's have a look so if we go to four Hopefully you can see that it's not coming out great, but that's 5.5, and all the way to the top is where we get our 8, 8.12 volts there when we go right to the top. Remember, batteries aren't fully charged here. 
And what you want to do is when you get it, you just uh, put it down to like one, one and a half, something like that, and then have a little vape, turn it up a bit, have another little vape, turn it up a bit until you find where you're at. Just adjust to taste. Don't worry about the wattage number too much. Just worry about how you're experiencing the vape. So I've got it at just over three uh, with the the RDA that I've been using. That's got it with the recoil. I think it looks really nice. Oh, let's see if we can keep that on. So when I press fire, it's actually coming out around 4.4, um, which is not bad at all. And if I take that back off and press it again, yeah, it's coming out 4.57. So it's only with the three batteries on, it's only it's only sagging a little bit, you know. So it is hitting you nice and hard in the mouth hole, uh, which is good. So I hope I hope that explains sort of what it's doing there. Uh, when you press the fire button, it does hold that voltage, so it's not it's not peaking and troughing with the voltage. It's just whamming you in the face with that good raw straight power. Uh, still nice and juiced up, which is good. Uh, so yeah, so it's like it's like a just a big dripping workhorse really. Uh, obviously, uh, I prefer regulation with tanks, but for dripping, I just like to have that power, and that's why I've got Hexon. That's why I've got all those other mods I showed you as well. It's just a nice straight power unit, uh, really pumping it out. I pick this up and I just press fire and I just enjoy the straight tasty vape that this provides for a very long time. I think it's great, I'm loving it, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, obviously, it's hard to compare to those regulated devices. If you're someone that always uses variable wattage, you know, that's your thing, or you always use TC, that's your thing. Obviously, this is not the mod for you. But if, like me, sometimes you just like 4.5 volts with a 0.25 coil, uh, then then you're golden with this. You're golden with this. It's a really nice vape. It's a really enjoyable vape. Uh, I really like it. Um, if I was nitpicking for negatives, uh, I would say the fire button's a tiny bit, it's a very eye joy, it's just a big plastic square and it doesn't feel very super pronounced or super nice feeling to press. Um, but that's that's about it really, I don't really have any major like flaws or negatives. I think the actual battery is really clever, the way you change the batteries is really clever, super quick, super easy. Uh, the fact that it holds that third battery in that in that three battery door it means you can swap them so quick so quick like that to swap and it comes off nice and easy because it's got this slide mechanism there's no w wobble or rattle on the door I like this I really like it it's not to everyone's taste totally get that uh, I guess it's a little bit old-fashioned in a way um, but look at the hexome look how popular the hexome has remained uh, this one this one is uh, is definitely of hexome like status in my opinion uh, obviously way more affordable and way easier to get hold of than a hexome but I think it's good I like it but that's this is my style of dripping this is how I tend to be using RDAs so I like it but obviously you know shop around to find up some other reviews and see what they say but I am enjoying it I genuinely enjoying it I don't have many negatives I think it's really well made very affordable really good links in the description if you want to find out more about this um, I've been Vaden Vic and I'll see you again soon. Check out all of these links. Do it.